There are new developments proposed in Fort Wayne, one of many in Allen County. It's a trend officials say we should see for years to come. Fox 55's Chris Maluli is live at Citizen Square. Chris, where are these developments located? Yeah, Hunter, they seem to be popping up really all over the county, but what we're told is the most populous areas for those developments are the northwest and southwest areas of the county. Now, this is something that isn't new to the county, but people and officials tell me that since 2008, after the recession, they started to get a little slower. The development wasn't coming as fast, but since the economy has come back, so too have the developments. The grass plains of Indiana making room for more and more developments. The consistency of for sale and close signs around Allen County has made it one of the hottest real estate markets in the country. If they're moving here from elsewhere where they want to go to. And officials say developments and the construction of them won't stop anytime soon. So you're seeing a large concentration of development in certain parts of town residentially. Um, but it's just a continuation of the upswing. Tyler Keyes is the president of the Home Builders Association and says proposals like a 34-unit multifamily development on Illinois Road have been the trend for years. As things progressed, now there is a pent-up demand as we can look at National Association of Realtor Statistics. Fort Wayne's the hottest market in the country, so there's a lot of pent-up demand, so development has to take place. The 15-acre unit on Illinois is one of the many slated on the December Planning Commission meeting. Others on North Neuer Road and Coldwater Road have hundreds of units proposed. As residential development is popular and hot in certain areas, the price of ground goes up, so it will go up. Um, it's just natural inflation that occurs. Key says the developments aren't catered to one group. Just in the last few months, senior housing, low to moderate income, and upskill housing have all been proposed. Crediting developers, Key says as long as the land is there, construction will continue for a wide range of potential Allen County homeowners. So you don't go put in only high-end developments. You don't only go put in low-end developments. Yeah, now, as you saw there in the story, so far this year, there are 905 building permits issued in just Allen County. Now, that's well above any other county around our region, but it's actually not the most that Allen County has had in the last four years. Now, obviously, that's only through October, so that number could rise up. Now, obviously, people have voiced their concerns about developments, not only in Fort Wayne and Allen County, but all over about traffic, noise pollution, and overall congestion. If you want to do so, you can do so right here at City in Square. They're having a public meeting on not just the development at Illinois Road, but all over the county, including eight more. That is on next Monday at 530. Reporting live in Fort Wayne, Chris Maluli, Fox 55 News.